So this is Danny Lewis. This is the Collaborate and Learn part nine. And I wanted to find a better way of doing this. So I've got Steve on the line at the moment. And this is using the Cisco WebEx tool, which is actually a free tool. And um, you can have a couple of people joined in. So it's designed for screen sharing and uh, collaboration and meetings. So Steve, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, mate. Um, so what's happened? You, you've lost your Cubase dongle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know oh, what? Yeah. This is the thing that I dislike the most about Cubase. If I had something that I would use to complain about it, it would be the fact that I've got a plug in the dongle and it is really annoying. I can understand they're trying to protect their kind of copyright and you know, their, their software and yeah, stop it. Yeah, first one I've lost and I feel like mine's been cut off already. Yeah. Um, I mean, you. I can't remember what the replacement process is. I think you have to buy a dongle and then they yeah. can transfer the license to you. I don't know how much the dongle is, but um, yeah, it's really annoying. I hope that Steinberg take away the uh, the dongle at some point. And, uh, you know, I mean, it, that's how it is with Ableton. It's how it is with Logic. You know, they don't need dongles. Um, for me, it's really frustrating because when I've got the kind of creative urge, it just means I've got to have, I've got to have it nearby. You know, which is a. You know what? It was. It was only a few weeks ago that I thought it's really nice having a laptop. Now I can kind of do this on the go, and I thought to myself, I wonder how long it'll be before I lose it. Yeah. Oh man. Well, I look, jinxed myself. <laughs> I hope it turns up. Um, so you know, Steve, I was just explaining to you briefly that. Um, you know, once again, I haven't had much time, so apologies to anyone who's been trying to follow this and to yourself, of course. Um, so I haven't actually listened to the project that you sent me back. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to share my desktop thing, which I'm really excited about because I'm hoping that you'll be able to see my screen because I think that's good. I'm not even sure if it can transfer the sound. I've got no idea. Okay. Um, but I think the main thing is is for me to um, at least establish whether we can we can share the desktop. So I'm gonna try this. There's a little arrow here. I'm not sure what this means. Right, share my desktop. It says share. Oh, you can share files as well, which is uh, that could be quite handy, you know, because we were investigating the Gobbler thing for the the synchronization between the projects, weren't we? Um, okay, yeah. So let's try this. Right, I'm going to click on share my desktop. Tell me if you can see what's going on. Right, that's been minimized. Um, it says participants. Uh, yeah, perfect. You can see it, yeah. Yep, full screen. Full screen. That's very good. Lovely. That's very good. Now, this is the big tester. Can you hear the computer audio? All right, so I'm going to rewind a bit. So bar 17. And uh, let me know if you can hear this, yeah? No. Ah, balls. Okay. Um, there may be a way around it. I'm wondering um, if Soundflower might be the way to do yeah, it yeah reroute the audio yeah um but that's going to take some time it's gonna be quite long-winded all right so anyway talk me through what you've done um so what have we got that's new uh basically we wanted to add a vocal um coming in at some point throughout the breakdown uh, i played around with lots of stuff to no avail okay uh, eventually i decided to chop up a small piece of vocal and that's um, what and this load is, it yeah. Into the agent. Uh, there are lots of samples loaded in there, but I've only used one of them. Okay. The okay. We'll take a look at that in a second. And um, you put an interesting post up on Facebook that I responded to, you know, about this sampler, because we've been finding it a bit difficult yeah. using Groove Agent 1. And this is my yeah. other criticism of Cubase, the fact it doesn't come with a, a decent free sampler. So you found a sampler, or it was recommended by one of the other guys, wasn't it? Which one was that? That's right, yeah. It was the uh, the UVI workstation. UVI workstation. Okay, yeah, and um, yeah, I played around with it. I'm I'm impressed as a free beat. It's pretty good for a free one. Yeah, I was expecting it to be a, a rompler only, you know, so you can put your own samples in. But it's uh, it's Quite yeah, you can, which is great. Have you found a way to save the files from it though? Like save programs or save you know the patches? Uh, no, but I think by process the audio you can drag and drop it from the workstation into cubase um, and it saves it as an audio file straight into the project right okay okay i mean that's at least something but um because i was trying to think is there a way that we could use that and transfer the files used because that's the tricky part isn't it because we don't know where they're stored whereas with 
um, Groove Agent 1, we can save the, the samples with any other sample you can. I haven't found a way to save. What we need to do is to be able to condense everything together, you know, so the, the actual preset sure, and yeah. also the sounds. So we can look into that another time. But anyway, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. Um, so it's on the breakdown, yeah. Let's just come back about here. And it's always nice, Steve, when I come back to this, you know, because when I haven't heard it for a while, you know, just to hear it with kind of fresh ears, and it sounds it sounds really good. It's definitely got a good vibe to it. All right, we're going to get to this vocal. Okay. For me, that fits perfectly in terms of the atmosphere and the mood, um, the tone of the vocal. You know, when you're dealing with these kind of vocals, um, you know, the thing to watch out for is, is, you know, is that does it actually suit the piece of music? And I, I, I really feel it yeah. does. So, you know, there's... I actually detuned the vocal by a couple of semitones in Groove Agent as well, just to sort of make it... Okay, that's good. That's a good trick to use. And um, did you find that the timing was a bit different because of that? Because it would be, if you're detuning it, it's going to be slowing down. Um, not not so it made a okay. huge difference. Yeah, and no, sometimes it can um, be beneficial to do that. Anyway. Yeah, because I mean, when you're doing that and you're shifting the pitch down, it can give it a more sort of clubby flavour. But equally, sometimes the timing can be shifted around because of that, and it can actually sound better for the fact that it has been slowed down. You know, and some people might chop it up and try to get it locked into the grid a bit better. But sometimes it's best to just leave it. And I think it actually sounds really good, Steve. So I'm just going to keep going here. Have you got a filter on here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just yeah, just bring it in sort of slowly. So it's coming in a, a little bit abrupt. Okay. Maybe a better way to do it. Don't okay, let's have a look. We are life. We are life. And I think when it gets to yeah, so you're increasing the frequency of the actual hits, so they're happening more often. Okay, right. Um, you can see what's going on on the screen, of course. So for me, it felt like it was a little bit too repetitious at this early point in the track. Yeah. I think that kind of vibe will work really good later on because I could imagine that this tune will have a couple of breakdowns. So what I would suggest on there is to instead to make this work, I just want to have a look at your effects here. I would encourage right the ping pong delay to take the feedback up, okay? Um, what I'll do is I'll record in using the automation. So I'm going to push W and I'll do it in real time. You can see what's going on. You won't be able to hear it, of mm -hmm. course, um, until I send it back to you. But look, I'll show you what I would in. This is what I imagine is going to sound good. It doesn't mean it's definitely going to sound good, but I have a feeling it's going to sound good with lots of echoes continuously. That's the feedback. All right, so the higher the feedback, the more echoes you're going to get. So you wake, if you take it to a high, really high feedback, it's just going to be constant echoes. I might increase the mix yeah. as it goes up as well. So I'm just trying to create an intense kind of uh, texture that's going to sort of swallow everything up, and then we can mm -hmm. cut it really quite short afterwards, and then the beat will have a sort of extra impact when it comes back. So let's have a look. We are life. I always edit this afterwards, I'm just going to increase it. Definitely need to try to organize this so that you can hear stuff from another session. I'm going to experiment. Yeah, yeah I'm going to increase the mix. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Right, so you've seen that going on. I'm going to take this. Oh, it's just reading the um, automation there, so that's fine. I finished with the writing. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the vocal. Let's see where's a good point for that. I want the delay to just carry on, yeah? So it's going to be that last one. Can you see that? Yep, I've got um, it. Right, let's come back and have a listen to that. I'm just going to have a look. We are life. We are life. We 
One too many way of life. In fact, possibly two. Where are we? What I'm going to do is just. Yeah, I'm just going to zoom in. Gosh, I'm, I've got platform schizophrenia again. I've been using. Uh, <laughs> no, well, I've been using able to and logic. Um, so my keyboard shortcuts are all over the place now. So I'm just going to come back up here. Right, I think that's going to be better. Have a listen. Real life. 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 Okay, right. Did you see what I just did there as well? So I took the low filter and I'm increasing the frequency here so it's thinning out the delay. So I'm going to do that ah, over here. Let me just drop it in. Yeah. Right, Steve, that's sounding wicked. That sounds really good. So... Um, what's happening there is is that the vocal is obviously increasing in intensity because you're you're triggering it more often. The delay's getting bigger and thicker, so you've got this more sort of sustained echo that's filling in the gaps. Um, it's getting louder because of the yep. mix um, is being increased, so you're hearing more of that effect. And then when the vocal stops, there's a lovely decay. You know, when my cursor's falling down here, and as that's falling down in yep. volume the sound is thinning out because you know the mix is so high that you're actually hearing the effect of the filter here so it's like applying a high pass mm -hmm. filter over the whole vocal which you could yeah. have done with another dual filter perhaps underneath here but that's a really nice texture i think it's working really well so i think what's going to need to happen is that it's going to chug around for a while and maybe something new um it could be a really good excuse for me to get the minotaur into action do you know i haven't even used that on a production since i got it which is criminal um it's terrible that it's terrible criminal. i mean this is it um i know I, you know, I feel i feel really bad but i tell you the thing <laughs> is is that you know i'm doing a lot of work on the sofa these days most of the tunes that i'm doing are done on the sofa on the headphones um because it's very difficult for me to fit constant time in to get these things done and if i'm plugging the minotaur in i need to have the audio interface up you know and that's tricky that's tr that's really yeah. tricky on the sofa um but i really need to try to use it i think that would sound great on top of this um it's a really good interesting kind of twisted synth stuff and then i'm sort of imagining that um it, there's going to be another breakdown that's similar again so i don't think we need to hear the vocal again for a little while i think the vocal could be in the next breakdown and just something a bit more um i don't know i mean what, what do you feel do you feel um what kind of elements do you feel are missing? Are there any things that you'd like on the on the track? Um, I, I, I keep thinking that yeah. we need a middle eight or something like that. Um, not not necessarily a key change, but 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 something an existing element that changes. Yeah, you know what it is. You know the sort of thing that so could sense. work is to take the stab that we've already got, um, mm -hmm. and then transpose it. You know, because it's the same kind of pattern going on. And maybe something where it rises up or down in pitch. But the problem with that is, is of course, that we're using Groove Agent 1. And it's only a single sample um, mapped on the keyboard. And we can't transpose yeah. it up or down. So, head, head, head yeah, so we could use the UVI, UVI drop the same sample in and uh, and do something. So, I mean, what I'm going to yeah. propose, Steve, is, is that we end the session here tonight. And I will experiment and I'll record a video of this happening. I'll experiment on building a, a new section with that stab using that UVI as another video later on this week. All right. And then I will try to get it in quite a, a good shape and then send it back to you. All right. 
Yeah. Yeah. And in the meantime, I'll yeah. to my Steinberg key. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that would be a, a real shame. Um, but uh, yeah, so good luck in finding that. And um, I will also see if I could find some way of getting this so that you can hear the audio. Um, but this is a great, I think this is a really good step forward, having the screen sharing. Um, so, you know, you're able to see that. I just really need to get that audio thing um, working. But I'm going to experiment with Soundflower, okay? All right, Steve, so nice one. Okay. And um, it's sounding really good. I think the vocal sounds great. I'll put the video up tonight and um, you. you'll hear what I've done with it, okay? And uh, let me know Let me know what you think, Fantastic. yeah? Thanks, Danny. Okay, mate, all right, nice yeah, one, take brilliant. care. All right, bye. Hey, buddy, take care.